Welcome. In this video, we are going to review some tips and tricks when placing orders in the Meditech system. If you have not had any exposure to order entry in Meditech, please watch the introduction to order entry videos first. We are going to start with some tips on how to make searching more efficient. I'm going to go ahead and go into the order entry screen. The system is currently set up to default to my favorite orders. The search bar, as seen here, allows you to search for any orderable within the order catalog. The catalog has thousands of orders that are available, and searching for an order can be as easy as just typing in the first few letters of the order that you want. If it's a simple order, such as that for an antibiotic like amoxicillin, I will be presented with the order strings that are available for that antibiotic. However, orders that share similar search names, such as in diagnostic imaging tests, requires a more refined approach to the search to limit the number of results that will be turned. For example, if I wanted to order a CT scan of the abdomen, typing just abdomen will bring up many different orders that have the word abdomen in it. However, if I refine this search, by first typing CT and then abdomen, my search results are much more concise. When ordering diagnostic imaging, if you start the search off with the modality of the test, such as CT for CT scans, RAD for x-rays, US for ultrasounds, and IR for interventional studies, you can then narrow the search down to that specific modality of test. For example, if I wanted to order an ankle x-ray, I can do so by typing in RAD, because I know this is going to be an x-ray, and type in ankle. The system will then provide me with search strings for ankle x-rays. I can further narrow down the search by typing in which ankle I want, the left or the right. As you can see, I am now only given two options for ordering the left ankle x-ray. Once you select the order that you want, always remember to check the little star beside the order string that you see here to save that order as a favorite. This way, next time you go into the order entry screen, this order will be listed as one of your favorites that you can pick from right away without having to search for it in the catalog. You can also browse orders within the order catalog by using the buttons that you see here. Clicking on favorites will bring up the list of favorites that you have selected. Clicking on the orders button will bring up a list of order categories to choose from. And clicking on sets will bring up order sets within the specialties available. For example, when I click on sets, I'm presented with a list of different specialties. If I select gastroenterology, it will list the order sets that are filed under that specialty. I can also search for order sets based on the frequency of how often I order them, as well as by the name. Clicking on orders will bring up the order categories that are within the system. If I wanted to take a look at orders that are available under pathology, clicking on pathology will bring up the orders that are available within that category. I can then select the order, such as the bone marrow, and if it's an order that I do quite often, I would select the star beside it over here to create it as one of my favorites. Another feature to help make ordering more efficient is to tailor the order string in an orderable to what your preference is for ordering it. For example, when I order morphine and I select IV, the order strings available are listed here. I prefer to order morphine 2 to 4 milligrams IV every 3 hours that order string does not exist. 
But what I can do is take one of these order strings, such as the first one I see here, and I can adjust the order string to what I normally order. Currently it has one to two milligrams. I can change this to the range of two, two to four milligrams. And I can change the frequency to every three hours. Now, if I select the star over here and I favorite this order, from this point forward, when I now order morphine, it will remember this order string that I like to use. I'm going to go ahead and submit that order. And now you'll see that when I go to order morphine the next time, and I select IV morphine, it remembers the order string two to four milligrams every three hours, which is how I prefer to order it. Another thing to keep in mind is that when I order something such as a single dose of morphine, two milligrams IV stat, when I select that, you'll notice that the other order strings available have now all folded up or disappeared. If I, in addition to this order that I have chose, want to give something in addition to that, such as a frequency dose rather than just a stat dose, if you select the arrow beside the drug that you see here, it will now bring up the remaining order strings available that you can still order. If I wanted to order in addition to the stat dose that I have here, I can select another orderable as well to go along with it. Here now I have the stat dose as well as a dose every four hours. Another feature to help make ordering more convenient is using the quick reorder function when you're in the patient's chart. As for example, when you're reviewing results. If I'm here in the results panel, I'm reviewing the hemoglobin, and I recall that I wanted to reorder this hemoglobin tomorrow. I could go into the order entry and enter the hemoglobin order, or I could do it directly from this screen when I'm reviewing the results. To do so, I just click on the hemoglobin and do a right click, and it'll bring up a submenu where I can select reorder now or queue for reorder. I'm going to queue it for reorder because I want to review some more results before I submit the order. When I click Q for reorder, it's going to go ahead and order the CBC and put that in my basket for submitting once I'm done with any other orders I want to place. If I also want to order some more blood work when I'm reviewing the electrolytes here and I see that the potassium is high, I want to reorder a potassium, I can simply right click over the potassium the menu once again comes up and I can say Q for reorder. Once I'm done reviewing the results, when I go to the order button, I can now see that under the order entry screen, I have the two orders that I have placed, one for the CBC and one for the electrolytes. I can click save, enter my password, and now those orders are processed. Another efficient way to order is when you're in the patient's chart and you have the chart viewer open on another screen, or for demonstration purposes, you see that I have it beside the chart on the same screen, I can go ahead and do orders within the chart viewer when I'm in another area of the chart over on this screen. For example, if I'm in this patient's chart and I go into provider notes, and while I'm in the provider notes, I'm looking up some information on a patient, I can, while I'm reading this note, go over to the chart viewer on the right hand side and click orders and place orders on this patient at the same time. If I want to go ahead and place a CBC on this patient, I could go ahead and do so and place the order and then come back over to the other screen where I can continue on with the review of the patient's chart. Please keep in mind that when you're placing orders, you have the opportunity to review the orders before you enter your PIN number when you're submitting them. For example, 
you can see that I have several orders in the submit box at this time. I'm going to go ahead and put one more order in. D-dimer. And I'm going to go ahead and select submit to submit my orders. The system will bring up the pin box to enter your pin to submit the orders. However, you have the opportunity to edit these orders at this time by clicking outside of the pin box into this order summary box. You can now edit these orders if you want before you go ahead to submit them again. For example, if I wanted to change the dose of Cipro from 500 to 750, I could click on here and change the dose to 750 milligrams and then I can review the rest of the orders and I'm happy with them and now go ahead and submit the orders. One final way to help make ordering more efficient is using the convenience order sets. For example, ordering IV fluids can be done very easily using the standard IV order set that has been created. The standard IV fluid orders will present you with the options of giving bolus fluids and maintenance fluids. When you select the bolus fluids, it will present you with the various types of fluid combinations of normal saline and Ringer's lactate in various different bolus ranges, as well as under the IV maintenance therapy, provides you with the different solutions that can be used for maintenance therapy. I can easily give a bolus of fluids such as one liter of normal saline and follow it with normal saline at 125 cc's an hour by simply just clicking these two orders. If I would rather have it at 150 cc's an hour, I can change this very easily, just like that. In addition to the standard IV fluid convenience order set, there is also one for pediatrics. This will provide the common pediatric IV fluids for both the bolus and the maintenance therapy. As you can see here, various types of IV solutions are provided that can be ordered based upon appropriate treatment for the pediatric patient. Mm -hmm.